Well, first of all, I just want to, uh, I thought uh, Cal State Northridge, I thought they played really hard. I thought those kids, um, Carlene does a great job with them, and uh, I thought those guys really played their, their rear off, um, competed really hard. Um, first quarter, get us down seven to nothing. I mean, that's, unfortunately, that's nothing more than not being ready to go. Um, there's no way to read that. We had 14 turnovers at half. Just <laughs> really played miserable the first half. I was very disappointed at halftime. I spent most of the first half or all the first half conveying my disdain for our lack of energy and effort. I thought, you know, we had, we had, you know, some, some kids that, you know, when you, when you're not making shots, you got to help me find, well, find a way to help me win another way. And every night's going to be different. And, uh, you have to be able to play the game and execute. And, you know, we just, <laughs> 21 turnovers is just way, way out of whack. I mean, that's, it's just not acceptable. And, uh, I thought the second half, obviously, um, you know, 43 to 15, that's, that's, that's better. Uh, and, and so the answer is you, you outscore them 13 and then all of a sudden you're, you're better than them by 28. Why? Why does it take a halftime of not being happy to, to realize, hey, we ain't playing good, we need to play better? So I'm disappointed in, 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 in our effort, um, in our energy at the same time. I'm, I'm always happy with a win, and I thought the second half was so much better. I mean, um, Audrey obviously uh, has a good stat line. She, the one stat she don't like is the turnovers, and coach don't like it either. Um, you know, Mathari had five turnovers and, and didn't shoot it well tonight, but had six rebounds. So um, I thought our inside presence was good. We talked about having an inside game. Gaston goes nine for 11. Um, and Ebo was three for five and, and had three offensive, eight total rebounds and went five for seven at the free throw line. So I thought we did a better job, you know, trying to get the ball inside and having that inside game. I'm proud of Shay Holly. You know, when I put her in, it's just go turn it loose, go play hard. She, you know, she's going in for, for probably somebody that maybe didn't, doesn't seem to have the juice for whatever reason. And so she really provided I thought she provided that juice and energy that we that we needed, and uh, she got four offensive rebounds and had two assists and two, and a steal. So um, again, uh, it's a rough time of year with with Thanksgiving, and we're here by ourselves, and you know it's just it's hard, but that's not an excuse. And so we got to get ready now for. <laughs> A really good uh, Jackson State team. They're, they've won their conference back-to-back -back years, I think. They've got a player on their team that played for me at Mississippi State who's a dominating post player. Both ends of the floor, she is so good. And um, a veteran team back. And uh, we got to get ready for them on Wednesday. And and uh, and so we're, we've got to find a way to, to regroup. This is two games in a row now where we haven't been very clean and executed very well. So. 21 turnovers for us is bad. And we only forced 11 in the second half for them. They had 28 total, but that's 17 and a half. So. Hey, do you feel that this one, that first half was all on you, or does Northridge, this is Northridge team that played two ranked teams, so maybe they just weren't overwhelmed or scared, scared to play a ranked team? I, I think it's probably a little of both. I think that's a great point. I, I think it's a little of both. I think they're not scared. They've played UCLA. Um, just had a great win at Fresno. Um, and, you know, you come in here with nothing to lose and everything to, to gain. And so I thought they really turned it. I mean, we got down with seven to nothing. And, um, and just looked bad. I mean, we looked awful. They had scored 12 points at the first media. I told the kids they're on their way to 100. And so uh, I was proud of how you know we respond. Obviously, the rest of the game, but it shouldn't take. I mean, I didn't get into coaching y'all to be over there on that sideline having to coach people's heart the whole night, and that's what I did the first half. I mean, it is no fun, and it's just frustrating for me because I try to convey to these kids, you only have X number of games. Like, she's in her senior year. I mean, you're going to blink your eye over here, and you're going to be in your senior year. You can't take things for granted, but the game is really fair, y'all. You will get from the game what you put into the game. It's really fair. I mean, it won't cheat you. 
If you invest in the game, the game will reward you. If you don't, you walk around, think you're all that in a bag of beans, it'll pop you. And I just, I'm, I'm really disappointed in our, our, our ball handling decisions. 21, that's 42 points, y'all. We don't even have a chance to score. And uh, I was disappointed in our effort. I mean, it's just lots of jogging. So I give them credit for sure. Um, Danny, I, I think they, they came out and played with their ears pinned back, which they should. Carlene does a great job. And at the same time, we didn't. And so that's what you got. Bobby, were you as disappointed in the start today? Yeah, I could tell. I mean, obviously, we weren't knocking down shots early. And I think instead of attacking, a lot of us just kept trying to make that one. And then when we finally figured it out, it went downhill from there. So. Where do you feel this team's at right now as you guys head into a week where you're going to see Jackson State, you're going to see a &M. I mean, you know, with a young team, you're going to go up and down a lot. So I think really just focusing in practice and keeping keep going what we're doing now is going to help all of us, not just the young ones. Um, I think we're in a good place right now, but there's obviously a lot of room for improvement um, and a lot of room for uh, us to grow. Yeah, what was kind of your mindset when you, when you checked in? You kind of gave them a spark at the end of the first quarter and the end of the second. Um, <coughs> well, he usually talks about, like, when you get subbed in, then don't don't break what's um, being fixed. Or <coughs> just just play through, like, play hard. And so, like, me, I haven't been playing a lot. So, I mean, when I come in, I try to contribute to the team as best as I can or as much as I can to, to basically just, like, I don't know, help them out, basically, yeah. Yeah, the last couple of years, I'm sure, have been frustrating for you with some injuries and not being able to play, I guess, up to your potential. You know, where are you at right now? And are you having fun, you know, having that? You know, being healthy and getting contribute to this team. Yeah, it's really it's really fun because I'm like back healthy. I'm back trying to uh, like play for the team and stuff. Like it's it's pretty fun. Yeah. Vic, what do you feel that yeah ceiling is? And what can she contribute to this team this season? I mean, I've always said she, you know, you're looking at the number one player in the 20. 20 class as a freshman in high school, but she's had so many injuries and she can't ever get, if we could get her to practice for two months straight without having to sit out, which we're on a little bit of a run right now, there's no telling how good the kid can be. I mean, she's got some ball skills. She made it three today, um, but you know, she can handle the ball, but right now she's really our best option down low. She can handle it down there. She can move, she can, she rises up over people. I mean, she reminds me, she's, you know, it's, <clears throat> she's got a little bit of, of Nalissa Smith in her net. She's built like her and, and she's agile like her. And she ain't Nalissa Smith yet, but that's where I see her ceiling going. And, uh, but it, it won't happen if I can't keep her in practice every day. So we've been able to do that. She's on a little bit of a run right now. I don't have, you know how many weeks we've actually gone through without her having to miss, but I'm sure it's longer than I feel. You know, it doesn't feel very long, but it, I'm sure it's been longer. So the more she can practice, like today, I felt like her conditioning, she needs some conditioning. You know, she played really good for three or four possessions, and then she's slow getting down the floor, and she's still trying to figure out transition. I mean, her her game is going to be, you know, it's way in front of her. Her ceiling's way in front of her. So she just needs experience. She needs playing time. You know, her and her and Tasha, Tasha blocked a couple shots, altered a shot. I mean, Tasha's really good at that. And, and, and again, we Tasha's been in and out of practice this week. Didn't she practice one time? So I need her to be in a practice for a week, two weeks, three weeks, and let's see where we can get. But I got a pretty good team over there in boots right now, you know. And uh, I got to get those kids out there. And that's what I told them at halftime. Just just so you know. <coughs> I think we got some some people that are satisfied. They're not threatened. You know, we need competition in practice. And those three over there, I need to get them healthy so we can get back to competing every day in practice for time, for starting position. I mean, my starting lineup can be real fluid. I mean, she started some, now she's coming off, she could start the next one. So I need competition right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm concerned right now that we got some apathy over there, and we, you know, because we're limited, right, with my, our depth of our bench. So we, 
you know, we, we got to keep working. You know, as soon as I can get some of those kids back, I think it'll create a better practice environment and we'll have better competition and people competing. Since you started practice, how many practices do you think you've had where you've had all 13 scholarship players available? It was going for a while there. It was, it was. for a while. But for a while. And now yeah. it's one or two here. Yeah. One or two there. So, I mean, I, I, I'd, I'd like to have all 14 of them, you know, with my walk-on. I'd love to have them for a month and see where it gets us. Um, I mean, you got 27 kid over there that made 27 points in a game sitting over there in a boot. Um, you got Liam Moore over there who's a starter for us and competes your tail off against Stanford and battles. And, and, and <coughs> you got Kobe who, when this all started, if we played horse, she's going to win the horse game. So, pretty good players over there right now. So, I, I just got to get them healthy. And none of them are season or even month. They're just, I got to get them through this week or two to where I can get them back. So, I think, I think our team is going to get a lot better in a hurry once we get everybody back and get people competing. I mean, I would say everybody on my, whoever start right now, ought to feel threatened. Because when I get everybody back, those four freshmen and Aliyah Matharu won two straight days, won Longhorn two straight days. That's a four minute scrimmage, nonstop. It's just go, fast as you can, score as fast as you can. They were playing well until we got, had some injuries. Audrey, as a senior, what, what is your impressions when you hear that, that there's four young ends and <coughs> sophomore gunning for your job? I mean, that's that's what it is when you get to college. I mean, you're gunning every every practice, every day. is You're competing against each other to either start or just get playing time. And then, but it's also very helpful because, I mean, we have four freshmen in a in a transfer who are doing that. So it's, you know, we have a bench. We have people who can come in and do that in a game with all of us. So. Hey, do you feel like you know what this team is, or is it too early and you guys are too injured? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the answer is no, I don't. I think the answer is I think we can be really good. I said that like two weeks ago um, where we were playing well after Stanford. Uh, you go in there and, and, and beat them on their own floor on a big night. I mean, you're doing something right, right? I thought we showed great toughness. Um, we did not show great toughness at Tennessee. Um, got out tough, got out physical. You can't say that a lot about my basketball teams, but we did. The film don't lie. They saw it. We watched it. Again, as I told them, if this is the way it is, then I've got to coach better and, and coach differently. Um, and again, when I say people are comfortable or apathetic, or, again, that's just kids. I mean, that's that doesn't make anybody a bad person or a bad kid. But I gotta, I gotta keep kids with an edge. Right, got to keep an edge, um, and I, again, I think when we get competition going again, that edge will sharpen real quick. But right now, we're just, and it really affect with Aaliyah more out. It affects her more than anything because Aaliyah Moore can play two positions; she can play two positions. Right now, with her out, it really pigeonholes her a little bit, and because. Tasha's not quite ready to, to play the four uh, a, a lot. Dee's been in and out, and so it just it really gets her. I, I really want to play her on the perimeter, and I want to play a big lineup. I want to play 6-3, six, 6-4 six, to four. I think that's what we're going to need if we're going to beat some of these big teams that are in front of us. So that's the lineup I want to play, but can't do it right now because if I start D and Lauren, that's both my five players. So one gets in foul trouble, I've already, I'm, I've eliminated my depth. Now I can play Tasha at five a little bit, and I'm, I'm trying to play her there a little bit just because of her knee. She's a lot more comfortable down there than she is stepping out on the perimeter right now until she gets comfortable with that knee. So I've been playing her at five some, but again, she didn't practice for two days this week. Finally went through yesterday's practice, but everybody else has gone through all the practices, so they get to play a little bit more, right? So. I guess the last one, Avi, I got to ask you about the the alley oop. 
what kind of what was going on there. And, and Dion, what, what did you think about Audrey's, <coughs> Audrey's highlight there? She was wishing she could jump like that. Mm. <laughs> all I thought was quick up. <laughs> That's all I thought was quick up. And she was there. I was just thinking, don't miss us. Because I was not on the backboard, and I was like, please don't miss us off the rim. <laughs> <coughs> Pretty good play. Yeah. Pretty athletic. Yeah, and she was on the side. She couldn't yeah. use the glass, so she had to use the rim. And uh, those kids playing together. And that's, Danny, that's the exciting thing about this team. They start playing together and developing that chemistry. I mean, that's what's fun, and um, that's the potential of this team. But we just got to get some kids healthy right now. And, again, hopefully it's a learning experience. <coughs> today with how we played the first half, I mean, it's just – we played anybody else today. It might not have been very good. I mean, I can't stand it to play that bad at home in front of our fans that first half. And that drives me crazy, Danny. I, I just can't deal with it. <laughs> I mean, I just – playing hard, if I'm having to coach your heart, man, that's – I want to coach your mind. And and that's – but, again, that's, that's kids, and don't make them bad kids, but they've got to learn and understand when the lights come on, man, it's time to go. And if you haven't prepared until the lights come on, it's too late. You know, it's too late. It starts, they got tomorrow off, Monday, Tuesday, starts for Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, starts for Sunday. You can't, you can't take things for granted because the game will get you. Appreciate y'all. All right, praise the Lord, hook them.